We are going to go through how to set up a reaction under an inert atmosphere. This would traditionally be done when your starting materials, products or catalysts are sensitive to air or moisture in the air. For this setup, we will need a vacuum line, a balloon filled with nitrogen gas, a magnetic stirrer, a round bottom flask, a secondary container, a magnetic stir bar, a rubber stopper. First, we are going to take our round bottom flask with a magnetic stir bar and clamp it in place. Underneath the flask, we will place our secondary container. Should there be a leak from the flask, the secondary container will capture the lost material. To our flask, we will also add a rubber super seal. This seal is there to protect the environment inside of the flask from the outside atmosphere. Next, we are going to add our nitrogen balloon to the top of the flask. This will allow the nitrogen gas to flow into the flask. However, the atmosphere inside of the flask is not inert as it still contains air that was present prior to sealing the flask. To remove the atmosphere from inside the flask, we are going to attach a vacuum line. This will evacuate the air from the flask. The vacuum line only needs to stay connected for 30 seconds. Now we are going to remove the vacuum line and replace this with our nitrogen balloon. You may notice you hear a rush of air entering the flask and the balloon size decreasing. We will repeat this step of evacuating and backfilling two more times. We can now say our flask is under an inert atmosphere. To add reagents and solvent to your flask, we traditionally do this using a needle and syringe. This is done so not to expose the atmosphere inside the flask to air. Our reaction is now under an inert atmosphere. In this video, we have demonstrated how to create an inert atmosphere for air sensitive reactions.